All right, this thing's on. Awesome. Welcome back, folks, to Cooking with Jason. Sorry I've been gone for a year, but unfortunately I had a little bit of a mental health issue and I had to kind of take care of it. Yeah, it's been a year. Um, for all those of you who don't know, I'll go a little bit into my uh, details about not what happened, just what I am personally. When it comes to mental health, I am autistic. I do suffer from PTSD along with other just other mental issues and so I just needed a year off to kind of recalibrate my life get some resources together and I'm back I probably could have taken less time off but I just felt I needed the time to kind of recharge plus the channel wasn't getting as much activity as it is now so I felt it wasn't that big of a deal I apologize if um, anyone missed me and me and my antic jokes um, um, but I am back now. I will try to do this once a month, maybe more often to kind of make up for it. I apologize again. Uh, just issues and life comes up and we got to handle our shit. So, excuse my French. So, uh, yeah. All right. Let's get to it. Today, we are going to make the perfect bacon and egg cheese omelet. But people always ask and tell me, I love bacon, but I hate using that bacon grease. You know that bacon grease? It, you, you can't pour it down the frickin' drain because it clogs up your drain. You can't throw it away because it'll, like, mess. it's messy as hell, and you don't always have a can right there. So, I'm gonna show you today how to utilize the bacon grease, how to make bacon and eggs with cheese and all the fixings and whatnot with out get it having to get rid of the bacon grease you utilize the bacon grease and it's there i'm going to show you what i mean i tell this to people all the time but they have no idea what i'm trying to say so i will show you today i like my eggs a little bit spicy so today oh, 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 I'm, i should, should never do that accent it's horrible it's offensive like bad jason okay we're done here um i'm gonna get up my spices and we'll get cracking, dragon. So, I'm gonna show the lies what I'm gonna use here in a minute with my eggs. So, I like this says paprika, but it's actually red chili. I, I reuse these things. We have garlic powder, Italian seasonings. This is green chili powder, some staples of New Mexico, and we'll also get our lemon pepper. I might do accents, you know, hold your offensiveness in, in the, until after the video and you, th and you don't think I'm hilarious, it's fine. This is, this is going to be the stream you ex egg exactly need. I know these are bad yolks, but I'll crack you up eventually, and we'll have a shell of a good time. This will be a dairy good experience for. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. And that's enough puns and dad jokes for now. Um, so, okay. So, Jason with a knife. Oh no, we're we're in trouble now. Okay. So, first thing we do is the fascinating, the amazing. Oh, move the camera here. The fascinating, the amazing chopping that I always screw up. <laughs> so, you get your jalapeno here. You just do a little slicing. You don't need a whole lot. A couple, I always like to do just three strips, three slices, that's enough for Jason. Because I always add crap in. And just like that. Just chop it up like that. If you can't see it, it should look like this. I'm going to only utilize half the onion slice because you don't need any more than that. In fact, this is pretty thick. This is pretty thick. So I probably should only utilize maybe a quarter of this and be fine. So, oh yeah, that's more than enough. That's more than, oh crap, where, 
we're just spreading onions all over. We're already screwing up. Look at this. We got to throw crap out already. Look at this. If it hits the floor, it goes in the trash. I was trying to rhyme, but it didn't work. Okay. So, chop a little bit off here. That's why we always have out more than we need, because you never know what will go wrong when you cook. Things always go wrong when you least expect it. So always expect it. Yeah. I'm just te I'm teasing you, by the way. Don't take me seriously. I am not what you call a serious person, obviously. Today, for our cheeses, you can use any cheese you want. You don't have to strict by my craft. I just like putting things in my eggs because it takes it makes them taste less egg wise, and I like things that taste eggy but not eggy as crunchy. I like omelets better than just eggs. We got we got American cheese and we got Munster cheese. And I know Herman will be very pleased that we have his cheese. If you get that reference with the Munster, we should be friends. Um, <laughs> so, okay. I got my bacon here. Doesn't that look delicious? So, we'll rinse off our tongs. Always want to make sure we have clean items when you cook because you don't want any of that nasty germs. I already washed my hands before the stream, so I'm fine. Don't not worry about it. I'm only hurting myself if I didn't. If you have to hurt anyone, only I'm teasing. Do not me seriously. I'm not, I'm not condoning people hurting them. It's a joke. This is not, I'm not even going to finish that, that, that joke because it's so not okay. All right. So I'm going to use three bacon strips because it worked better with three last time. All right. So you can crisscross. I choose to crisscross them. That. All right. So this is what it should look like in case you're wondering. That's before the cook. The light. My lighting sucks. There. That's better light. All right. And voila! And yes, I'm always ridiculous. So don't try and think this is I'm putting on a show. No, ask any of my friends and my therapists. I'm always like this. Um, <laughs> like now he is. If you're watching this, now he is. They're just shaking their heads right now. Yeah, no, no, he's always like this. <laughs> So we get, a, we get our stuff here. I should have done this before the stream. A smarter person was in the before the stream. We're not dealing with completely smart people today. We're dealing with Jason. So there you go. Ha ha. Okay. While that is making its do. And I already hear it. When you hear bacon sizzle, that's when you know it's time to screw with it. All right. So we're going to do this. And do that. All right. Eggs here. We're gonna, we're gonna leave these eggs over here. We're gonna screw with them a little later. Not literally, of course. We'll move our extras off to the side for the vegetables, and we'll focus on the bacon. When you make food, focus on one thing at a time. This is how you don't get burned shit. 
I know this from failing at from failing at this. I'm good at this. I swear I am. You've all seen the results if you check out the Facebook page. By the way, results I'll show you today, but usually the results are on the Facebook page. So go to that if you want to see results. Sip net tips, ideas, what do you want to see me cook next? And I will always have this attitude. Alright. Yep, we're getting that nice sizzle, that nice sizzle drizzle. Miss Frizzle will be very okay. And okay, enough white person rapping. I can't do that. That's a bad joke. I shouldn't make that joke. Um, okay. All right. So we're good. Good. All right. You always want to get a paper towel to kind of put the bacon on because of the grease. And by the way, that white person wrapping thing is just a joke. I'm teething. Again, don't take me seriously. I'm not meant to be a serious person. Han, I'm, I'm not. Anything, no, just don't cancel, okay? Let's learn to have some humor in our cooking stream, shall we? I know this is a post-joke world, but let's learn to have some fun, okay? All right. We're almost done with this bacon, by the way. I'm gonna show you how to deal with the bacon grease. Now, normally what you should do, and Jason was not a smart person, is I should make the eggs and just kind of pour it on this thing. However, I want to show you exactly just how long the grease will last without it uh, solidifying, as we all know if we, oh, crap. Stupid thing, I forgot to turn my goddamn. Um, it's not, nothing burning, don't worry. Nothing burning, don't worry. I just have a sensitive stupid, stupid. I forgot to utilize. Alright. Always also also always turn heat off when you turn your shit away from the stove. That is not a sample of my great cooking skills. I actually am a good cook. It's just that. Unfortunately, I have a very sensitive smoke alarm, and there's no smoke. There really isn't. So, my smoke alarm is just shit. So, the bacon is not even remotely burnt. In fact, this one's a little under. Out of there. Right. So I want to utilize bacon grease here. Okay. I think that's good. Let that set. Okay. That's not going to solidify right away. We still have really good bacon grease. So, isn't it fun times when the smoke alarm goes off randomly? That's my fault, everyone. I apologize. I can cook. I swear I can. I just get nervous under streams, haven't done like streams like this for a year, and also because my smoke alarm is just very sensitive. The damn thing fucking goes off if I it, when I boil water. I mean, come on, it's, if I don't utilize the fan, it just goes off. I have no idea why. It's, I guess they figure that it'll just yeah. If I don't utilize the fan, it just goes off. I have no idea why it does that. Don't ask me why. I, I, I need to utilize the fan more often, but I don't. So, all right. So, we want to get exactly what we need. And I'll crack you up just like this. I don't trust myself because I know I'll. Make a joke and then, oh, look at that. I didn't even get the shell in there. Look at that. 
Oh, I got a little bit of shell in there. I'm going to fish that out. That's off my hand. I don't like greasy hands. Crack that one. We got a fork. Fork the eggs, and then we'll fork this, and then we'll fork. No, that's a bad. That's a really bad joke, by the way. I'm not funny. So much humor in this, we don't even know what we're doing. All right, add a little bit of garlic, a bit of this, lemon pepper, a little bit of. Italian, a little bit of red chili. If I can summon the strength to open a jar, I'm, I swear to God, I'm strong to open a jar. No one help me. Um, that's an older joke, by the way, in case anyone gets that joke. Alright, and then do that. And then comes the finale of this. We just turn this back on. We throw that there. We get our spatula after we wash it and rinse it off. I should have done this before, but I was rushing. I should rush next time. Okay. I'll slosh the spices around a little bit. Then we just take this off to the side. Do a little bit of that. Monster cheese. Voila. Pour that in. Mix that around. Look at that. Look at that. I screwed up twice and it's still getting good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The only cook who can actually screw up twice and actually, you know, still do it well enough to actually, you know, look presentable. When men cook, it doesn't look good, but it's tasty. So, men cooking. Um, men cooking, watch out and be fun. Because cooking is a, ma is a man's job. You have to be a man to cook. Only real men cook. Only real men cook. There you go. All right. So that's done. We're gonna end. The, we're not gonna end it just yet, though. We're gonna. Oh, I got the bread out already. <laughs> we're gonna make some toast. Not the old-fashioned way. We're not. We're just gonna use a toaster. I'm sure everyone knows how to use a toaster. I'm sure everyone does. So I ain't gonna show you how because I'm sure you know how to use a toaster. If you don't, you might want to go back to school. Just saying. All right. The heat's off, by the way. There's no risk of me burning myself, in case you're wondering. The heat's off. All right. So we're all done here. Let's wrap up the cooking. All right. And we'll 
show you what this looks like. You don't like this. Look at that! Yeah! And I even screwed up a couple times. Look at that. I will be more prepared next time. You just watch. I hear you laughing, but all in good fun, I'm sure. All right. We got our plate out. I saw you. You were trying to escape. That plate was trying to make an escape attempt and crack. But I didn't let it make its escape attempt. Okay. That's enough of redneck Jason. All right. We got our toast here. I like peanut butter on my toast. I know everyone's going to get on my case. Peanut butter on eggs with ketchup? Oh my god, it's so gross. It's so gross. It's not that gross, people. People eat liver, for God's sakes. cracking up. That's what eggs do. Look at that. Alright. Let me just get the rest of it. Scrape it up. And voila! Fiddle with it here a little bit. My sales tax. Onion fell off. I keep my cooking very clean. All right. Everyone's gonna get on my case, but I don't give a fuck. I'm just kidding. No, not really. But all right, and look at that. Egg, sandwich, bacon. It looks fucking phenomenal on toast. See, 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 there's chaos, but the results are fantastic. Comedy cooking, chaos. All right. <laughs> All right. Now that we're done, we're gonna clean up. Soak our pan almost immediately because we don't wanna have to utilize, we don't wanna have to deal with. You always wanna soak your pans when you use that much grease because it's gonna be hard to clean otherwise. It's gonna take like forever and a day. Let it soak for a couple of hours. I'm lazy, so I do a couple hours. But you might be able to get away with um, two out, three, one hour, but I would, but the longer it soaks, kind of the better, but don't let it soak for two days. Yes, I'm watching you guys who don't do dishes. Mans, if your lady is good, do dishes, do, do the dishes and cook for her. She will be very grateful if she's a good chick. Okay, that's enough. Okay. All right, so that's the end of this cooking adventure.
again, I will try and post once a month or so, more often if people request it. I want to do a shout out to Really Tired's Twitch channel. Go ahead and follow her on Twitch. She is a very good friend of mine. Uh, not very good, but she's a decent friend of mine on Twitch. And she's really cool, very hilarious. Uh, really, if you are seeing this now, I hope that you are doing okay. And I hope everything's going fantastic with you. And I wish you all the best. I hope your New Year's was great. And I hope to see your streams again really soon. Um, shout out to uh, Aubrey and Lexi from Twitch as well. Uh, they are awesome. They are gorgeous women, and they are awesome. Uh, so shout out to them. And so, yeah, that'll be the end of this. Um, and I will link the uh, Facebook page for the screen and below. Also, um, just a more than you know thing. Imagine that, because I have no editors. So imagine the more than you know star um, going across my thing here. If you are suffering from emotional abuse or you know someone who is, I do have a support group. Um, feel free to uh, message me on Facebook. I will link the page below as well. And you are not alone. You are a warrior and you are amazing and you have survived it so you're already doing amazing and it's okay you are you are not the victim you are the victim but you are okay it's never your fault okay so now that we got the serious talk out of the way so we're gonna end this video i will see you guys next month in february where i will show you how to cook an amazing romantic valentine's day dinner for your sweetie Thank you, and good night. Okay, where the fuck is this thing now? <laughs>